what we've got here is we've got a combination bent arm hang, putting some time under tension on those biceps and on those lats, and then adding some active hip flexion. Try to keep those knees locked out as much as possible. Think about squeezing your quads, pointing your toes, squeezing your heels together, keeping everything nice and activated, and try not to swing. You notice how she just left her torso where it was and the legs came up and down, nice and tight. We're gonna go over the jump to support to forward roll. This is a great progression to work towards the bar muscle up as well as the pull over. Here's what it looks like. So as we slow motion the video here, let's take a look at a few key points of performance. So the first thing you'll notice is that Nicole gets her hollow before she pulls up. And then when she pulls into the support position, you'll notice that she's also got her hollow there. She's not relaxed. She's actually pushing the bar away so the bar is in contact with the top of her quads instead of in the hip. She's also got her shoulder blades down and away and she's nice and active in this position. When she rolls forward, she's gonna bring the bar to her hips. She's gonna come through as slow and controlled as possible, trying to build some strength, some eccentric strength in that movement. And then when she comes back around to the other side of the bar, she's gonna be finishing in a bent arm hang with her chin over the bar. When we execute the pullover, this is gonna be basically the exact opposite. You're gonna do a pull up to chin over to the bar, then you're gonna bring the hips to the bar, throw those feet over, roll through into that support position, and then push pressing away into a nice, strong support. This time, we're actually gonna do the pull over, and then we're gonna forward roll again. Here's what it looks like. Cut to the footage. All right, so Nicole's gonna get set up in a toenail pull-up position. She's gonna give herself a little bit of assistance. She's gonna pull her chin to the bar, and then she's gonna use her feet to create some momentum so her hips and feet can go over the bar and then she settles into that support position. The bar is at her top of her quad, her shoulders are down and away and she's in her hollow body position. From here, she's gonna tuck her chin, roll through and finish in that position with her chin over the bar and her feet are on the ground to give her some support. So give these a try. These are really, really fun. It's an alternative way to get up on top of the bar into support position. Just remember that when you are pulling through you want to still do a pull up to the chin, then bring your hips to the bar, throw those feet through and get into that nice tall support position, pressing down and away, shoulders down and away, and having the bar at your hips and in a nice hollow position. We did a jumping version and then a toenail pull up version, and now here's your chance to do it with a strict pull up. Again, if you are still working on a strict pull up, this version will not work for you. Go back to the toenail version and build that strength, and this is what you'll build up to. Okay, have fun with this. Throw this into your warm-ups or your skill work twice a week. Just do like 10 reps or 30 reps, depending on how you're feeling. But this is a really great way to develop some nice uh, lat strength and also build some more variety in your pulling from day to day. See you guys next time.